Hi, I'm Paris, and earlier this spring, my family, like a lot of families, we went through our own personal toilet paper shortage. For a while there, you might say things were touch and go. But now that the supermarket toilet paper aisle is full again, we've stocked up a little. Now, my brother went through the same thing, but he learned something from the experience. He thought with this second wave coming and perhaps more panic buying, what if instead of riding a stockpile of toilet paper, what if you ride the wave? as in water, as in get a bidet. So he did, and he loves it. Now he has a regular American bathroom with regular American toilet. Bidet's a little bit of an unusual idea to a lot of Americans, but in Europe they have specialized devices that do that bidet function. Here in the US it's a lot easier to just order an add-on to your toilet to provide that functionality, unless you really want to spend big bucks and completely redo your bathroom. And he thought, well, this could be great and help out other people as well, people who are afraid of running out of toilet paper. Rather than FOMO, fear of missing out, they have FOMAS, fear of missing a spot. Now with the bidet, as long as you've got water, you can clean. Drying is another issue, but people have found that with the bidet, they tend to use about half as much toilet paper as they did before. Now these arguments all made sense to me, so I agreed with my brothers, which brings me to the 10-minute bidet. Washing your cares away, 10 minute per day. So called because even without any plumbing skills, you should be able to install it in 10 minutes or less. Today, I'm going to test that out. Now, if you're not familiar with the bidet, it's sort of like a squirt gun for the nether regions. It takes fresh, clean water from your water intake pipe, runs a little of that over to a device that goes underneath your toilet seat, and when you turn the dials, a little dealie or two pops down here and sprays you right where you need it. No electricity, no batteries needed. It just runs on water pressure. Also included in the kit, simple instructions. This hose that will take the water from that intake pipe over to the bidet. Connector piece, some plumber's tape, a washer, and that's about it. The instructions are not even double-sided. And in fact, this side just tells you what the parts are and what they do. The instructions are all right here. Consists of doing this, and this step may vary depending on your particular toilet attachment. And earlier this month, I even saw Consumer Reports reviewing bidets. They're the in thing right now. They had some good things to say about aftermarket add-on bidets as well. So if you've ever thought, I wonder if bidets might be for me, well, this is your chance to find out. You can find out more about the 10-minute bidet at the links down below this video, and I am gonna go install it and try it out. All right, here's the patient. Doesn't look that hard, right? First steps, turn off the water supply, flush the toilet, and remove the toilet seat. Turn off the water supply, flush the toilet. That'll take all the pressure out of the line. Remove the toilet seat. Then install bidet, which just means putting it in place and then reinstalling the toilet seat. Okay, the day is in place. You notice these kind of crazy lines here and this whole thing turns it's so you can adjust it depending on the size of your toilet seat and how far you want it front and back. Toilet seat's on, just need to tighten it back down. Okay, that's done. Now I did read on Consumer Reports that kind of of necessity here your toilet seat after installing this add-on bidet will angle just slightly higher in the back because it's got to make room for the tubes that go through here. And we haven't got to the plumbing part, which may prove to be the trickiest part, but we have got the bidet installed and ready to hook up. These are the control dials. And down here is the business part of it with the little things that pop out and spray up. And they save the best for last. Connect the cold water supply to the bidet. And because of the size and location of my connectors, I'm going to be going with method one. That's going to mean unscrewing this connector, which attaches to the toilet tank. I've put a towel down below because even though I've turned off the water and flushed the tank, which removes most of the pressure, there's still going to be water in this hose. Yep, there comes some water. Whoa. <laughs> I wonder if I needed a bigger towel. Okay, that seems to be about it. This is the adapter piece provided in the bidet kit. It's gonna connect between the hose and the tank. And then this will allow me to put another hose from here to the bidet. 
And this can be the trickiest part to attach because you've got to squish that washer down to get the first few threads to engage. I bet you need that washer in there. Looking back at the instructions, a little after the fact here, I see that screwdriver and wrench may be required for installation. With this piece attached, now I'll reconnect this hose. Now plumber's tape was included in the kit, but I want to try making all these connections without using this first to see how watertight they are. Now if I planned better, I'd have made sure that that little piece was poking out this way because it'd be easier to access, but this should work fine. Okay. And now this end of the hose has to attach underneath of the bidet device itself here onto this little nub right here and a little bit of extra tightening but being careful here because I'm on the plastic side of things. And that's it. I've installed it. Might have taken a little more than 10 minutes. Some of the connectors were a little finicky but... Okay, the tank is refilling. I'm looking for leaks. Nothing yet. Toilet tank is full and this is pressurized. It's just a matter of turning it on and I wonder how far that water is going to shoot out of there. Okay, not sure how far the water is going to spray, so I've got a bowl here in place to catch. Let's see, pressure. Whoa, and gosh! <laughs> you don't want sudden sounds like that when you're sitting on the toilet. That was just some residual air pressure <laughs> in the hoses, we'll say. But that's that popped down. Let me. I think if I turn that, it's on self-cleaning mode, so it shouldn't pop out. Here we go again. Okay, there, yeah, that's self-cleaning. Okay, so now we're going to turn it to rear. I'm thinking this would be used by men and women. And water pressure. Oh, it's going to get me wet. Here it goes. Whoa! <laughs> that's on low. That's on high. Okay. <laughs> I hope you saw how that works. Let me try female. Oh, it actually says rear and then it says female. Okay. So self-explanatory here. Okay, so we're gonna, this will be more to the front, I'm thinking. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah, I guess that's more to the front. Okay, that's a lot of water. As long as you've got your body sealing up that hole, you shouldn't get a wet toilet seat like this. And for all the splashing water, we're trying that out. All the connectors here are completely dry. Great. All right, time to give it a try. I feel like I'm operating the controls on the space shuttle here. Let's put it into self-cleaning mode to get it started. Okay. For men. Washing your cares away, 10 minutes per day. A little cold at first, but yeah, it's actually not bad after that. And it's really aimed particularly precisely. Yeah, I can see how this would do the trick and reduce your toilet paper usage. There I try higher. Higher. I like I'm engraving something. Okay, well it's good to know it does go high if you need high pressure. Well that does leave you feeling refreshed. I think I might prefer to have an iced tea to drink, but I can see why this device is so popular in Europe. I think the 10 minute bidet is a pretty good device. It was easy to install, it certainly gets the job done, and it's reasonably priced. Find out more about it at the link down below this video and I'll see you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.